A kidnapped teenager is safe. Five men are in custody. Another is still on the loose tonight after a wild pursuit in Tucson. Here they are, four men facing kidnapping counts. A fifth man, Juan Martinez Barajas, is not facing kidnapping charges. Police busted him on a drug count. But two men made it to a car and led police all the way to Green Valley. Not in your sights, Craig Smith is live at the house where it all began with more on what's behind this wild case. Well, Guy, it's quiet at this house now, but imagine the scene earlier. Four men come running out. Police nab them in short order. Two others in a car roar away, and then a 16-year-old kidnap victim staggers out, still bound and still blindfolded. As we arrived at the house on Melridge, two women were moving things out. One told us her brother was living there. Can we talk to you about just what happened here last night and the people who were here? I don't know anything about the people out here. A family told police someone kidnapped their 16-year-old boy Tuesday night. By Wednesday, police were already watching this house. When the men inside realized that, they ran out, but officers grabbed four of them. Two men in a car took off. After all this action, a 16-year-old boy staggers out, bruised and blindfolded. Neighbors say the people in this case only moved in a month ago, but previous tenants had some bad habits too. My son was sitting by the computer and you heard shots during the day, shots. The two men who got away led police, DPS, Border Patrol and their helicopters more than 20 miles to this spot in Green Valley. The car crashed there, but the driver was able to get out and run off. Sonny and Marilyn Hennig saw the commotion and are not happy about the idea of a desperate fugitive on the run in their neighborhood. Well, sounds a little scary, doesn't it? Uh, I usually have a weapon on me at night if I'm out here in the evening, uh, and that may increase a little. Uh, that that uh, at my age, uh, you, you can't self-defend yourself against anybody like that unless you have help. Now, police say this was a basic sort of kidnap case, a kidnap for ransom with a large ransom demand. They say it does not look like it was related to the drug trade. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.